Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another weekend in my life. <laughs> it's Thursday night, one of my best friends, Alex, is in town and my boyfriend's family is in town and Gretchen and her boyfriend, Max, are coming on Sunday. It's a big, like, entertaining weekend and I'm so excited. I, ha I feel like I haven't had a true NYC weekend in a minute. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to do a vlog, a weekend in my life vlog, but kind of the perfect weekend in New York City itinerary and I'm gonna put in the description below like all the places we went everything like that because I feel like this weekend is very it's a good example of like when people come to town things I do with them some things are new that I'm trying out so we'll see as we go but I think this is gonna be so much fun because you guys are always asking me like what are some of your favorite places to go like I'm just coming for the weekend whatever refer to this video not that this is the end-all be-all and some of these things again I haven't tried like we're going to see a magic show tomorrow that I've heard a lot about Brooks Ben apparently it's really great um, but like you know going to comedy cellar tonight going to one of my favorite restaurants bar preemie so we're just gonna do this along together I'm so excited I love a good weekend in NYC vlog I'm just finishing getting ready I'm so excited for a little girly dinner tonight I'm going with Delaney who's my best friend from college who just moved here my friend Alex who we're trying to get moved here but she's just visiting she's staying with Delaney though so no one's actually staying with me this weekend which it's kind of nice actually I can kind of just bop around because Ryan's family is also here so I'm kind of juggling all of that hopefully I'll also get a little alone time we'll see um but yeah just finishing up getting ready I'll show you guys my outfit in a bit but welcome and if you are new subscribe click that subscribe button I think my videos are pretty fun so Okay, here's my outfit of the night without the jacket because the jacket will be coming on because it's cold outside This set is from Zara. It's like this grayish green color So it's like this fun top and then a midi skirt with the slit in the back and then I added this belt from Urban Outfitters maybe I forget and then the shoes are Vince Camuto. I absolutely love them. I love tying in my shoes to like another accessory on the outfit so for today it was the belt um and then i'm actually going to use my new bag from rebecca minkoff that i love so much it's a silver bag it's so cute so fun um anyways i need to go but yeah we're going to bar premi for dinner tonight and then we're going to comedy cellar delaney's dad is also in town so he's coming with us i am so excited let the weekend begin Cheers. All right, next up, comedy cellar. Can't wait to giggle. Can't wait to giggle our way home. <laughs> <laughs> then you come to Three Sheets Saloon next door, and you get fireball shots before the comedy show. <laughs> morning everybody from the Lower East Side. I just got my nails done. I did a light pink chrome. We are starting off the day, well, it's almost lunchtime now. I'm headed to lunch to one of my favorite spots in Soho called 12 Chairs. It's a great spot if you're visiting. It's literally so good. It's so fun at night apparently. You're like dancing on tables and stuff from what I hear. But we're gonna go pick up my friend Alex. It's 20 degrees but we're gonna survive and we're having a Soho day. So let's do it. Here with Alex, she looks so much cuter than I do. And we are heading into 12 chairs. I cannot wait. You like hummus? I love hummus. Their hummus is unreal. Here we go. Oh wait, it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing. This is the entrance. If you get anything here, you must get the hummus literally so good and the, the warm pita amazing I got the shuk salad and a side of chicken and Alex got the areas I believe it's probably so loud in here okay Alex just left to go do a job interview I'm now roaming Soho alone I literally ran into Aritzia and bought myself this beanie and it has changed everything I'm way less cold my ears are warm it's sunny that's all we got to say
Okay, it's like freezing cold out, you guys, but back with <laughs> Alex. Just got a ton of work done at, what's it called? Think Coffee. She just got a coffee, too. I bought this hat. I already told you guys. Never mind. I, this hat has, like, helped my ears. I, like Maybe that's what I need. I think you need a hat. <laughs> I am about to blow away. We're doing a little, like, designer shopping. Not actually, but maybe. <laughs> We're just kind of browsing, you know? See what's See what's what. There and enjoying the day soho has great shopping and it's really fun especially the side streets like right now we're on a street called green street it's so beautiful yeah the buildings are like the architecture and like celebrities it's good <laughs> it's so cold i need like a ski mask it's literally that cold outside wasn't the day to do soho but we did it. <laughs> Back now. I think I'm gonna take a warm shower to Dethal. And we have lots of fun stuff planned tonight. And I'm wearing a warmer jacket. Snuggled up watching an episode of Nashville. I'm obsessed. It's a very old show, but I just found it and I love it. All right, we are ready for the night. I'm really excited to see where the night takes me. All right, so here's the game plan. My boyfriend's parents are in town. My best friend Alex is here. We gotta juggle the night. So, step one is go to dinner with the parents. We are going to a restaurant called Pasquale Jones. I've actually never been before, so I'll have to keep you guys posted on if it's worth it. Packing my portable hand warmers because I'm gonna need them. Uh, so we're going to Pasquale Jones tonight. It's Italian, I went to Italian last night, and I'm going to Italian tomorrow night, and that was not on purpose. Sometimes it is, but it really wasn't this weekend. But Ryan made the reservation, I'm so excited. So Pasquale Jones, and then from there, we are actually going to a magic show. And Brooke's actually been before, apparently it's great. His name is Aussie Wind, I believe. It's in Greenwich Village and he does live magic shows. I haven't been to a magic show in so long. Apparently it's amazing, so I'm so excited. Definitely something to do while you're here in New York City. So dinner and a show in general is just one of my go-tos. I just think it's so much fun and there's just, there's so many shows here in New York, so why not? Uh, so yeah, we're doing Pasquale Jones and then Aussie Wind and then hopefully going to Acme tonight, which is a huge going out spot here in New York. I have actually never been yet, but my friend Alex and Delaney really, really wanna go, and I'm in the mood to dance. I think that could be fun, have a night. Um, so I'm hopefully gonna have a night. I was just thinking I was gonna have red wine at dinner, but now I'm thinking that's a dumb decision if I'm like trying to stay up. So it's probably a vodka night, woof. Um, but yeah, I'm just calling the Uber in now. I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. I'm wearing my black puffer because I am. <laughs> like, that has to happen. Um, here is my outfit of the night. Just an easy going out in New York City fit while staying warm. This is a black long sleeve from Revolve. I haven't worn it yet, and I'm obsessed with it. I love the ties. It gives just something different. My favorite leggings ever. Well, one of two favorites. I love the Spanx, and then these are the Commando faux leather leggings they're so great and then of course my favorite Vince Camuto black tall boots and then I'm gonna wear a black puffer over top oh my gosh I didn't make my bed today don't tell anybody headed out for the night I have so much trash in my hallway that I need to put away I'm debating like bringing a hat oh my gosh this is kind of a vibe though little matrix moment oh yeah oh my gosh it's so cold out there I can't believe this is happening um this is definitely a good weekend to hibernate in New York, and here I am. The perfect New York City itinerary. Um, yeah, just look at the weather before you come, I would say. Uh, I feel like I should bring a hat, but I don't want to ruin my hair, so. We are just going to brave this together. We're switching to the phone cam. Let's go.
<laughs> Guys, we're so cold. We're like huddling up. No, this is not. I'm unwell. <laughs> no, no, my hands. More are... ways than much. My lips are turning purple. I'm so cold. <laughs> oh, your hair is up. Oh. <laughs> everybody it is Saturday morning I spent the morning actually getting work done because it was like kind of my only alone time I had so I was like let's just get it all done stuff for the live show podcast my YouTube scheduling my YouTube video for the day it's 10 degrees outside there's something on here hello anywho we are headed to one of my favorite brunch lunch honestly dinner spots here in New York City I take so many people there. Um, today is no exception. I'm going with Ryan's family, and Delaney just told me that she's taking Alex there right now, too. Um, so we're all gonna be there because it's just such a good spot. It's called Dudley's in the Lower East Side. When I lived in Lower East Side, I was there a lot more. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hop on the train. We're gonna go to Dudley's. It's so good. I'm probably gonna get breakfast because you get like, I think it's called the Big Brekkie, and they put like all this stuff. I get like halloumi and bacon and eggs and avocado. It's delicious. Except I already had avocado this morning because I was hungry, so I don't know. Is there such thing as too much avocado? Unsure. Here is the fit. We are going warm over, um, Function over fashion, is that right? Hat is free people. Sweatshirt is actually All Saints from like forever ago. Uh, scarf is free people. Leggings are splits 59. And then I'm wearing my fake um, Ugg platforms. They're so comfy and they're on Amazon. I will link them below. All right, we are headed out for not the whole day. We're gonna come back because we have a show we're going to tonight. I'm gonna treat myself and get a blowout as well. Um, let's start the day. Okay guys, so Dudley's is literally so crowded. That's just not happening, but here it is. And if you can't get in, I go to Sunday to Sunday, but they're also full. So we're off to find somewhere new. Okay, so here's what you missed on Glee. <laughs> Dudley's was a fail, unfortunately. It was super packed. I guess they do take reservations. I've never made a reservation there. I thought they didn't take reservations, so I don't really know. Maybe they take reservations on the weekends, whatever. Um, so we ended up going to Essex, which is also in the Lower East Side and also like fun. It's definitely a really good bottomless place. Like they have bottomless screwdrivers, bottomless mimosas. I want to say bottomless like Bloody Marys, but I don't know how many Bloody Marys one could have, so maybe not. But you know what I mean. Um, and it was still definitely a vibe. And you know, normally I'd say we'd walk around, but it is just freezing cold, so we didn't walk around. We all kind of split up. Like Ryan's parents really want to see Ryan's apartment, and Ryan was like, "Well, I gotta clean it first. So he went to go clean it, and then they were gonna go see his apartment. And honestly. I just came back here and I've been obsessed with Nashville on Hulu. I can't stop watching. Um, so I just came back and watched and then I decided to run over to Dry Bar, which if you're coming to New York for a weekend, Dry Bar is a really fun spot or just going to like a salon near your hotel or something and getting a blow dry is literally the biggest confidence boost ever. I just had her do rounded ends with just a little blow dry and it just instantly makes me feel better and I love having someone wash my hair and it lasts you for the whole weekend. So if you're coming into the city on Thursday, get a blowout and it'll last you through the weekend. By Sunday, you can just like put it up in a ponytail or a slick back for the plane ride. Well, probably not slick back because that'll hurt leaning against the plane seat, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I went and did that. I was actually gonna get one yesterday, but I just didn't have time. So I'm happy to have it because I'm doing a lot tomorrow too. Um, but yeah, now it is time to eat again. <laughs> um, it's been hours now, but I feel like the last clip was me eating. Whatever. Another dinner and a show moment. Um, so much fun. We love doing dinner and a show. I am now, I'm going to be going to dinner with my friend Delaney and Alex, who I've been like switching my time with between Ryan's family and them. 
We're going to Becco for dinner. It's an Italian restaurant. Literally three for three on the Italian right now, you guys. Like, need to stop. Um, we're going to a restaurant called Becco. It's on West 46th Street. It's near, like, the Broadway show theater that we're going to. Um, they're definitely more touristy over there, but I actually like going to dinner before a show near the theater for a few reasons. One, everyone in there is pretty much also going to a show because you are there at like an earlier time because all the shows on Saturday are typically at 8 o'clock so everyone has like a 6 o'clock dinner whereas if we went to a restaurant over here in the West Village at 6 p.m. there would be no one it would just be dead and you would like kind of be in a bad mood and it's like oh we're here for a show that's why we're early you know it's annoying so going to a restaurant near um, the theater is really nice because everyone else is there so excited to see a show your waiter is literally like oh what show are you seeing like what time do you want to leave here like they're very accommodating you get your food really fast so I like that. And I've been to Becco before and it was fabulous Italian food. So thrilled about that. And then we're actually going to see a show that I've literally already seen before, <laughs> but I simply must see it again. And the last show is on tomorrow, Sunday, February 5th. Take me out. It's with Jesse Williams and Jesse Taylor Ferguson and it is literally so good. Um, I'm obsessed for like so many reasons. It actually has a great message. And it has some funny parts. It's a pretty intense show, though. Like, it's not a comedy. Um, but, yeah, they, like, seal up your phones because there's, like, nudity. It's just, like, fun. I love it. And I love Jesse Williams and Jesse Taylor Ferguson for, like, all different reasons. So, you know, it's a good time. And Alex and Delaney heard me raving about the show. I'm sorry, this is, like, tilted. Um, so they were like, we have to go see it. Okay, anyways. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I heard your concerns. This new camera, I think, is better quality, but the audio wasn't good, so I just got a mic, um, and it came in the mail today from Amazon, so I think the audio should sound better, so thank you guys for being patient with me there, but we actually need to start getting ready. Oh, also, I didn't even talk about last night, the magic show. Literally insane. I am blown away. Aussie Wind is so good. Like, it wasn't just, like... You know, oh wait, let me turn on this light. It wasn't just like pick a card, any card. Oh, do you have the six of spades? He had everyone in the audience write down their names and he like did tricks with that and like knew, like the stuff he like knew. I was like, are you psychic? You're not a magician, you're psychic. Or maybe that's the magic. So good. That was like right next to Washington Square Park. Highly suggest going to um, see that show. If like, I haven't been to a magic show since like, I was a kid when we went to Las Vegas, I think. My outfit for the night. I literally have worn this exact outfit for the last, like, three shows I've seen on Broadway. I just love, I don't know, this outfit just works. It's comfortable, and it's pretty cold outside. It's just a good going to the theater outfit, so I'm just not going to stray away. I don't usually take pictures when I go to the theater, so it's fine. Um, this dress. I wore it in my last vlog, too. I'm just obsessed with it. I, It's not available anymore, but I found very similar ones. It's from not yours to keep off of revolve it's just a black long midi dress but it has a turtleneck it's so freaking flattering it's so great for layering i literally have worn this to so many shows and then over top i wear a leather jacket which i will still do tonight um but i'm just gonna wear like my puffer over top because it's 20 degrees outside it's actually warmed up throughout the day like it was 10 degrees this morning and it's actually getting warmer as the day goes on which is good bag honestly might use my new rebecca minkoff bag because the leather jacket will have silver silver detailing um but, but typically if i'm wearing the exact outfit i will do this all black outfit and then i'll bring my green bottega as a little papakella so <laughs> we'll see and then for shoes i just do my black tall boots for added warmth and it just looks cute i think with a mini dress personally so this is literally the outfit i wear to every broadway show People really dress in ranges. A lot of people do typically get dressed up just because it's fun and, I don't know, it's like going to the theater. It's fun to get dressed up, but some people just wear jeans and a sweater. Like, you don't have to get super dressed up and you want to be comfortable because typically you're maybe taking the train to the theater or walking or after you get out of the show, it's really packed there, so you kind of have to walk a little bit of ways to be able to get a taxi or whatever you're doing. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna change into this dress and we're gonna start doing our makeup and I have a little story time. Okay, so last night after the magic show, we tried to go to Acme. I've never been to Acme before and I was just honestly confused. I Like, I was so excited to go because my friends always talk about it and I'm always just, 
I don't know, it's not the, I'm not like with them when they go or whatever. And so my friends were like, let's go. I was like, okay, yeah, like we get there at 11, we'll get in. I was so confused, you guys. I don't really understand politics of Acme Bar and Restaurant, but it was so confusing. Like there was no line, but there was a line. And I was like, you know, no. So we waited there for like five minutes. And then we decided to go to Lucy's, which is this like new, I think it's considered a club in the Moxie Hotel in Lower East Side. So fun, so sick. You've probably seen people post it. It has a ton of disco balls on the ceiling. So I was obviously having a field day. Um, and the drinks were really good and we had a blast and the DJ was great. So ended up working out. So if you're coming into the city for the weekend, that's really fun. It's definitely more of like a club vibe which i'm more of a bar girl but we were just wanting more of an elevated vibe last night i don't know we were just in the mood to see some disco balls you know um but before before the magic show i have to rewind we went to red lion and like it's definitely like you know if you're my age it's perfect um because it's like post-grad people but the reason i love it i mean we, were, we brought ryan's parents there and they were obsessed because they have cover bands like a cover band is so underrated. They are so much fun. It's just so nice when you actually know the songs and everyone's just dancing to like, like he did Harry Styles, but he did 80 songs too. Like they really just did it all and it was so much fun. Like honestly, I kind of just wish we went back to Red Lion last night. It was just so fun. But as the night goes on, Red Lion gets really packed. So we went at 8.30. It was packed, but not as packed as it normally is. So it was perfect. Um, so yeah, that's a great bar to go to if you're like, I don't know where to go. There's tons of people our age if you're like early 20s, but it's also a great good place to bring your parents. I don't know how to explain it, but just trust me on that. Like I would so be down to go to Red Lion tonight after. I just like to dance. I like to dance and sing. Like when I go to a bar, I think it's also because I'm in a relationship. So like I'm not necessarily on the prowl and I totally respect the prowl. I've been there. I did that and whatever. But for me, I'm just like... I'm gonna go have some fun and like dance and sing and be with my friends and be able to talk to my friends and the people I'm with obviously but um yeah so I love if you guys know like comment down below your favorite places to go in New York that are like dancey but like still like not a club maybe just like a good old sing-along song bar I love it or if they play Drake I haven't found a bar that like plays all my favorite songs I just got so used to Athens and like all those bars. I don't go out as much here, obviously. If you guys can't tell. I go out, but like I don't go to bars. I don't know how to explain it. Like I told my friends that don't live in New York, I was like, I don't really go out a lot. And they're like, girl, you're out all the time. I was like, well, yes, I go to these really awesome events and everything, but there's not, I don't often just like go on a Saturday night to a bar with my friends. I feel like it's like a, a birthday or we'll like go to dinner and like, it's like a thing, it's like a whole thing or like going to see shows. But everyone does New York differently. That's just kind of been my personal situation. And I'm so happy with it. I'm loving it. But that's what happened last night. I know, like, the vlog, it's just so hard. It was so cold, you guys. It was hard for me even to, for me to pull out my phone. And then, obviously, when I'm with Ryan's family, like, they know what I do and they're so supportive. And if I, you know, pulled out the camera in front of them, they wouldn't, like, think it was weird. But, you know, I just, out of respect... I like got a couple shots of like little things, but I'm not gonna throw the camera in their face and probably vlog as much as I normally would. So hope you guys can understand that. But it's shaping out to be a pretty fun weekend if I do say so myself. We have brunch tomorrow and then dinner with Gretchen and her boyfriend Max tomorrow night with Brooke and Ben. We're doing a, a triple date. Yeah, a triple date, that's right. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. My highlight is like not going into my skin. Love that for me. Anyways, I'm going to continue to do my makeup, but I just wanted to like recap last night for you guys because I know it was just like clips, 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 clips. It was really confusing. All right, here is my go-to Broadway show outfit. We've got the dress, the tall black boots from Vince Camuto, leather jackets, a little cropped, a little boxy. I love it. It's from Lamarck. And then I'm going to do this bag from Rebecca Minkoff to pull in the silver. I'm even wearing like silvery earrings, I guess you could say. Yeah, we're headed out for the night. I am so excited for some dinner, maybe I'll have some wine, and obviously so excited for the show. And maybe we'll go out after. Who knows? All right, we're headed. Here we go. 
I am so excited. They're about to take our phones. Dinner and a freaking show. They're about to take our phones. So I will see you guys on the other side. Mwah. Hi. Yes. Show is over. We are now waiting for the cast to come out. There's their car. The show was just as good. We loved it. And now we're waiting for them to come out because we need to see them. <laughs> Sunday you guys we are feeling good this morning somehow some way my outfit kind of doesn't make sense but I'm trying to be like chic yet casual Sunday vibes <laughs> um stayed out till almost 2 a.m. last night at the red lion it was so much fun we danced I met so many of you guys so thank you for saying hi um but yeah I just had breakfast here I had some oatmeal and a hard-boiled egg I don't know why I told you guys that um, I made a coffee and now I'm realizing it's probably so cold now because I made it so long ago while I was getting ready We're headed to probably my favorite museum in New York City a great thing to do if it's raining or if it's like a chilly day um, We're going to the Whitney Museum in meatpacking, which is one of my favorite areas So I'm excited to vlog there because it's just such a beautiful area I'm going with Ryan's family And yeah, just gonna walk around the Whitney be a good time. This is the fit. I'm wearing these pants from Urban Outfitters Aritzia hoodie. I'm wearing a Uniqlo heat tech long sleeve underneath. Um, I just have some glow screen on it and put on makeup. And then my trench is from Naked. N-A-K-D. Let's go. the Whitney is they have this like roof situation all these stairs a lot of people like to come here and take photos but it's such a unique view of like meat packing and then the water there's Statue of Liberty over there very cool Freedom Tower of course <laughs> all right met up with the girlies say goodbye to Ryan's fam I had myself a little solo lunch at Sweet Green, and now we are walking along West Village. I'm kind of having like a West Side day. We started, walked down West Side Highway, went up to the Whitney Museum, which was amazing, and now we're walking on Bleecker Street, which is great shopping. So, oh yeah, Diptyque. Alex wants a candle. We're going to go check out those candles, but Bleecker Street is a great Sunday activity. Great people watching. They're dog watching. <laughs> All the things. I got some cupcakes and Delaney got some cookies. Ooh, ah. <laughs> All right, going to Jack's Stir Brew for coffee, a great coffee spot. Do you want coffee? Oh, okay. <laughs> Silly girls. you guys. 
guys, it's the last activity of the weekend. I actually took a little cat nap after my day today and watched some TV. And then I was just watching the Grammys red carpet. Gretchen and Max are in town. Gretchen is one of my longtime YouTube friends, real friends, and we're doing a triple date tonight. Me, Brooke, Ben, Ryan, Gretchen, and Max. I'm so excited. Um, we're going to a restaurant called Barbunia. I haven't been, so we're gonna go together, but love a wholesome Sunday night dinner. Here is my outfit of the night. Um, I have had this sweater since college. I literally love it so much. It's this crop black fuzzy sweater. I j it's the perfect crop, and I love the sleeves. I think it's from Urban Outfitters. And then I'm wearing the Aritzia Wilfred like faux leather pants. And then I slightly tucked them in to these boots from Revolve. I'll link them below. They're really, really comfortable. They're short boots, not tall boots. And then I have my Chanel bag. And yeah, my blowout lasted from yesterday. And then these are the Bottega dupe earrings from Anthropology. If you just look up like drop earrings, I think that's how I found them. And then of course we're gonna wear a jacket over top but yeah i'm so excited to see my girls and it's gonna be so fun level triple date i don't know if i've been on a i haven't been on a triple date in a while if i have been on one. <laughs> oh, it looks gorgeous thank you Back home now, I'm gonna watch the Grammys. I recorded them, they already like started a while ago. We ended up sitting at dinner for literally three hours. It was so much fun. I love Gretchen and Max so much. Obviously, Brooke and Ben too. It was just such a great, lovely dinner. It was such a great way to end the weekend. It was a jam-packed weekend full of lots of stuff. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna try and write down everything that I did this weekend and I'll have it down below so you guys can like you know, you don't have to take notes. You can like have the itinerary for you. I love you guys. Subscribe if you guys are new here and I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye.